Good day everybody, this is Nel Carroco again and while I'm working and finishing my uh, football lighting course in Udemy, I received one message from um, our friend, his name is Hammer Wang and he commented on my YouTube video about the racehorse truck lighting design. Hammer said, Hi Nelka, I want to design a basketball stadium but the material or the 3D file of the, the auditorium is missing. Can you provide the corresponding material or website so that I can download it? Thanks. Okay. Yes. So this is very easy Hammer because right now I also downloaded one of the 3D file which I used in this um, football lighting. So where to get that one is very easy. Just go to uh, www.3dwarehousesketchup.com and uh, this is now the website and if you want to get those uh, basketball stadium just type basketball stadium and then go to this model tab here don't go to the products go to the model tabs or models and then you will get the stadiums for basketball here and you just need to select which one you like and I think this is perfect so it depends on what kind of stadium you are actually working on but look at this one okay so let's go and check this one because it looks good but this one is huge so if you want to make sure that your 3D file is not more than 1 MB go and drag this lever here and say you only need let's say up to 25 mb and then it will give you the choices of up to 25 mb files only here okay so you can oh this one is up to 25 only okay let's go and check this one okay so this one is 7 mb only but i think this is huge area okay so you can see here it's 7 mb so go and download it now 2019 model sketch up and then yes let's just say yes and then go and select other like for example maybe this one well this one is only 2 mb so let's go and download it and let's go and try one more yeah okay let's go and try this one and let's try to download the 2019 model Okay, so once you selected those three items which you think is good for your 3D modeling for your basketball stadium, go now to the folder and open that one. For example, you need to uh, in install Picon Planner. So if you want to install, uh, know where to download the Picon Planner, go here. Okay, so just go to www.piconplanner.com and then press this download. Okay. So let's go back now here. So once you uh, saved your file, just go and select and right click and then open with Picon Planner. Okay, it will say, uh, okay, remind me later. And then you go for the meters, the unit meters. And then just leave this one because this one I think is an mm. Okay, so just move the decimal point if you think this is an mm. Okay, so I'll just move the decimal point and I'll just scale it later on if it's wrong and then press OK oh my god this is huge <sighs> okay but it's not heavy look at that amazing it's beautiful okay so if you want to remove some items you can actually do that if you want to zoom extend go to the view and then zoom all extent and then rotate it using the orbit and if you want to remove the parking and just leave only um, the stadium, you can also do that. So how to do that is just click on the object. So it's in one hole, right click and then ungroup. Okay, so once you ungroup it, you can now select. Okay, so still you can select one by one like this. Yeah. And if you think that there is group still, you can just right click again and ungroup until you select those areas that you want to include in your calculation because the more uh, object in your file the heavier your calculation is and it will take time for you to run the calculation okay so just do like that 
what I'm going to do is I'll just keep it and then let's see if it's still not heavy or not later on when we import it into Dialux Evo or Dialux Regular. So I'll just undo it. Okay, so to save this one as 3ds file, just go to File, um, Export, and then Geometry, and then select that 3D, uh, 3D Studio file, and then Save. And then just press the uh, select the minimum and then export. Okay, so let's go and try the other one. So I'll go select meter again, and then I will just move the decimal point, and then say okay. And there you go. Go to the orbit and check it inside. And if it's too heavy for you, and if you don't really need those other details, yeah, just go and. Uh, Okay, I cannot get inside. Remove ungroup and then remove uh, the other things. Okay, just press the pan here. And yeah, until you get... Okay, this is too much. So I'll go to the view tab and zoom extent. And I can see in the plan view that there are so many things inside and I think this is fine. But yeah, it looks complicated here. Anyways, if you like this one, just go and check and uh, remove something if you don't like it. And let's go and try the other one. Okay, so this is the other one. And yeah, there are also pine trees here. You can remove this one if you don't like. So how to do that again is by uh, ungrouping it and then remove these pine trees. If you can select it one by one, then you can easily now remove it okay but if you want to keep it yeah you can keep it but just to remind you the more the the the, the more the objects there is in your uh, file the heavier the heavier it is and it will take time to calculate oh this one is really good okay so let's go now and convert this one so export geometry and then select 3d studio and then save and select the minimum and export okay okay so based on the three files that we uh, exported into that 3ds file now we can see how uh, how heavy the files are so let's go to the view and go to the details and yeah from this one we can see that the basketball stadium is 6 mb the other one is 2.8 mb and the other one is 4.71 so if we want to try this one in let's say Dialux Evo or Dialux regular let's go and okay because I'm working with my football I cannot open the Dialux regular so I open the Dialux Evo now and then I will go to the outdoor and building planning and then I will import this 3ds file so let's select furniture file and go to the desktop where I save this uh, 3ds file so I'll go and select first this uh, chargo basketball say open and then zoom extent and then go to the 3d and there you go you can change the color of the material say for example you want to make this one white so you can see it clearly now here and select other files you can again uh, use the, te the texture which are uh, used here before so I'm just randomly picking uh, colors here and there you go and say for example you want to still put color here yep and let's go inside and there you go now you have your basketball stadium and of course you can change also um, those colors the only problem with this one is you cannot easily uh, put a luminaire because there are so many details now of the 3ds file so be careful in uh, placing your luminaire so use the plan view use the elevation views and the other views so you can properly place the luminaires okay so go and try the other 3ds files and yes this one is looking good so i hope you will like it and if you want to know more about how to use the Dialux Evo software and also how to do a lighting design calculation for a basketball court, go and visit www.udemy.com and visit all my courses there to check if you can if it will be useful to you. Okay, so yes. And of course, 
yeah, don't forget to download the Pecan Planner and also don't forget to subscribe. Okay, see you again on the next video.